I mean, now is Kansas Senator Roger Marshall. Senator, good to have you. We've had you on this this before, but the, not, there was just a, another another uh, study released showing massive amounts of foreign ownership. Venezuela, some of the countries that we don't necessarily love to do business with. What gives? Well, food security is national security. And just like I'm concerned about the 37,000 Chinese nationals that are wandering around our country, I'm concerned that we're not keeping track of how much farmland the Chinese Communist Party is purchasing as well. Once again, Joe Biden's administration has failed. They're supposed to be keeping track of who's buying what. In many instances, they're buying farmland right next to military installations. But the farmland is just the tip of the iceberg. Beyond this, they're owning different pieces of the food chain. So, for instance, in food processing, Smithfield is now owned by China. They produce 25, they process 25% of the pork in this country. Not to mention, you know, we could talk about intellectual property theft. We could talk about uh, the, the, how they've infiltrated our research and development in our universities as well. So, this is a big concern for food security. I'm reading this uh, a headline from Daily Mail from just a couple of days ago. Foreign developers, including Chinese, Russian, Iranian, and Venezuelans, now own at least 40 million acres of U.S. land near military bases from coast to coast. The government admits it does not know the full extent of the land grab. Senator, that's scary. Yeah, it, it is scary, and that's why we're introducing legislation to elevate the Secretary of Agriculture to the CFIUS Committee, which investigates and keeps track of, of uh, foreign investments in American land. So we can decide on a case-by-case -case basis if this is a threat to America or not. And I might add that many states are already starting to address that. I know that my home state of Kansas has pretty good laws to protect and be able to censor this as well. But it certainly is, again, a threat to national security. You know, I, I, I th we've had um, we've had Christy Noam on from South Dakota, who said the same thing. She's pushing legislation through that prohibits or limits the amount of foreign investment uh, of, of farmland, food security, but also near U.S. bases. This, this just talked about 40 million acres near U.S. bases. Senator, that's that's concerning. You know, where we're getting a little bit of support for the people who are worried about this type of thing from an unlikely source. Senator John Fetterman, the Democrat from Pennsylvania. It's amazing, sir. Well, that, that's good to hear. Uh, I, I think that Senator Fetterman's had some surprise comments on several issues, including the border. Uh, so we'll, we'll see where he ends up on some of these, these same issues. Um, what do we do? Is, do, we, do we need a, a President Trump in office to make change? Uh, you know, it looks like it's uh, you know, only a, about a year away from this past weekend that the next president gets sworn in if it is Trump. So do we have to wait another year to find out what kind of changes we can make? You know, I, I'm sure. Look, from, from day one, this administration declared war on American agriculture. This is one small piece of the puzzle. But based upon their, their amount of regulations that they've thrown at us, it's driven the cost of farming up, not to mention the high interest rates that farmers are very dependent upon borrowing money. Uh, to operate their land. So those high interest rates have been an impact as well. American agriculture, for many reasons, can't wait for Donald Trump to become president again. By the way, this USMCA trade agreement that he negotiates, negotiated has been a boom for American farmers as well. Yeah. Or that trade with, with, with uh, Mexico and Canada up some 40, 50 percent. I'll tell you one, one thing that a lot of people aren't talking about. I, I come from this world. To cultivate farmland, you have to use quite a bit of fertilizer. Fertilizer is a natural gas-based product, as you well know, coming from the state, that uses tons and tons of, of fertilizer. And that stuff is, is made outside of our, 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 our four borders. And that scares me. When someone else is controlling the fertilizer, they really could con control our food supply. Senator Roger Marshall, thank you, sir. Thank you.